I was hoping you could see both of these because I'm really proud of them. I put them up myself. So maybe I'll stand here. Is that annoying? Should I stand here? I'm gonna stand here. Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my things I only own one of video. This is a trend, I didn't come up with this myself. It was started by Sarah Therese. Everyone has a little bit different list of things that they only own one of, and I love that about minimalism. I decided to jump on this train though to solve a lot of people's problems, okay? I'm just here to solve your problem. Just kidding, not really, but sort of, okay? Everyone is like, I wish I could do that, Margaret. I wish I had the guts to do that. And this is a super simple list that's proof to you guys that you can live with just one of these things in your home, in your life. So let's start my list. Number one, a television. Tate would roll his eyes if he heard me talking to you guys about this because it has been a battle that I have picked since day one. TVs just drain the life out of a house and we live in a small space. So when the television is on, everything is centered around that and whatever is on TV. So it means community and conversation and everything else is on hold, including our kids. So for that reason, we did have two when we moved into this small space because it was just here when we got here and we gave that one away. So one TV. Perth. I don't own a purse. This, I guess you could call my purse. My diaper bag. I just don't have a purse. I don't have the capacity or the desire for one at the moment in my life, maybe down the road when I'm not carrying a bunch of diapers around. It helps me to stay minimal because if it's crowded in that purse, my life feels crowded. So it's just nice to have everything in one spot. Dio. This is my bad boy Dio that I really like. This brand, Alafia. A-L-A-F-F-I-A, -A deodorant. I really like this stuff. Honestly, you won't catch me wearing deodorant on the day-to-day. -day. I don't have that bad of a stench. I've done detoxes, I eat pretty clean, I know what foods make me smell, so I just stay away from them. When I'm going to a wedding, I'm dancing, people are around, I will dab a little tiny bit of this on. This stuff can get really toxic, even the natural kinds, so I try to stay away from this as much as possible. It's actually good to perspire. The smell of your, you know, body odor is actually a really good message to your health, so. Winter coat, I only have one winter coat. I have dabbled with getting like a nicer one for church and then like a snowy one, but I was like, I don't have that much space to begin with. Why would I not just stick with the one I've got and it's black and it goes with everything. So I'm just going to keep my one winter coat. I love it so much. I got it for Christmas as a gift and I, I treat this so well. I treat it like, not like a child because you don't have to wipe it and everything, but I treat it really well. Laundry basket. We only have one laundry basket for my entire family of four. I actually did this as a strategy to help me do laundry more often and to be more on top of it. When I had a big laundry basket, I waited till it was completely full, like overflowing to start my laundry. And now when my small basket is full, I just throw that load in and it has saved me so much time and stress over my laundry, along with the minimizing that I've done in all of our closets. But style of sock, let me just show you this. It might be a little dirty, but I have one style of black socks. If I ever show you my feet, I will be wearing the same sock. Actually, Tate and I have the same exact sock. It makes our sorting incredibly easy. It makes laundry a lot easier. Sorting socks was the worst chore in my home growing up. I hated it. It really helps with the sorting process to get one plain color. Perfume. I only have one perfume. I've had this for one year and that's how much I have used. I never use perfume unless I'm going to a wedding, like not even on date nights. I'm all about smelling naturally and not coating yourself in toxins. Actually, these can be very harmful for children. When I'm nursing, I never, ever, ever have any type of fragrance on me full-length mirror and this was another strategic item that I had to place in my life for a particular reason. When I was pregnant with Riker I actually got rid of my full-length mirror because my body was changing so much and I would just stand in the mirror and be like well but a beautiful thing was happening to my body and then when I was pregnant with Gunner I got my full-length mirror back. I had a much healthier mindset and now I only have one for my whole family in our house and then I actually positioned it behind a door that opens this way so it's not something we 
see all the time. I don't have a problem with it anymore, but if I do place this item in my life around every corner and as much as possible, it just kind of plagues me. It like keeps knocking on my door. Like, look at yourself in the mirror. Come on, judge yourself. So I kind of just keep it away and hidden, but we do have one. Kitchen knife. Let me go grab it. I feel very weird just I have one kitchen knife and I can thank baseball season for teaching me my minimal kitchen tips and hacks. We had to pack everything for eight months into pretty much one car and so I found a way to make my kitchen as minimal as possible and I have one knife and it is so easy. I've never worried about having another type of knife. This does the job for everything. We do have serrated dinner knives so if you need to cut into steak or some type of bread I just use that but you can have one knife and it makes dishes, it makes your knife drawer, it makes your kitchen just less cluttered. It's very nice. As for makeup, I have one of everything that I need. I've got one eyeshadow, one mascara, one foundation, and then one cream blusher. These items are non-toxic from Beauty Counter, aside from the Mineral Fusion Mascara. This thing is the queen. If you follow me on social media, you will know how much I love this cream blusher. This is the color. It's color caramel and it's from Beauty Counter. Look at that. Oh, she's just so gorge. I love this product because you can use it on your cheeks, your lips, and your eyes. So if you're like truly wanting to go minimal, this thing is the queen. I only own one face cleanser. I'm just simple in my skincare and my makeup. And so I've never really had more than one facial cleanser. I use this one from Beauty Counter and it is my favorite by far because I trust the company, I trust the founder, and I trust these products to be non-toxic and as transparent as possible. So, you know, I'm all for that. This is my favorite. And when I am almost done, I just buy it again. Household cleaners. Anything in a spray bottle, let me just go get it. This is really hard to communicate. Okay, here we are. Branch basics. So anything that I spray in my house is going to be, again, non-toxic, you guessed it. This is Branch Basics. So they send you this mega solution and then you just pour the directed amount in here, which happens to be about three-fourths of an inch. And then you fill the rest of this up with water. I have their all-purpose bottle, a bathroom and tile bottle, and then I also have a glass cleaner bottle. I use this for bathrooms, sinks, toilets, windows, pacifiers, strollers. I even wash my fruit with it. That's how non-toxic it is. And this just makes my life very minimal. I know exactly what I'm getting. I don't have to buy a new thing every two months. This has lasted me probably a year. It's fantastic. Sunglasses, I don't have them with me, so I'll do an awesome cameo with these bad boys. I only own one pair of sunglasses. I read from one of my favorite holistic doctors that it's actually good for your eyes to be in broad daylight and in the sunshine. It kind of is a workout for your eyes. So I purposefully don't use sunglasses. If I'm at a baseball game and it's super sunny and it's obnoxious, I will throw these Ray-Bans on. I've had them for seven years. <laughs> I probably, no I did, I got these in college. So this was my style back then and it's just, it's gonna stay with me until they break or something and then maybe I'll get new ones. I wanna see if I can survive without any. I feel like I rarely even use them anyway. One play space for my kids. This isn't necessarily what I own, but I only have one of these. I was really tired of picking up toys in different areas of my house, so I just made one play space for my children. They acclimated to it great. They're incredibly resilient. They're creative, and it saves me a lot of cleaning in the rest of the house. Other areas, you will only find books and no toys. Phone case. I only have one phone case. If I had two, it would be clutter, and it would be sitting there doing nothing. Stroller, I only have one stroller for my two children. We don't have enough space to have another one and it's a very easy fold up one that can get tossed around at the airport because we travel all the time. Yeah, it's all we have space for. Uh, we couldn't have another stroller anywhere. PJs, I only have one pair of pajamas. If they're in the wash and I'm needing pajamas, I just throw on one of Tate's t-shirts but it just reduces the clutter in my closet. Also, worn PJs feel better than unworn PJs. I hope it's not gross that I wear the same PJs for a couple nights in a row. I mean, I'm clean, I always shower before bed, and then I just sleep in them for like the next three days. I feel like that's totally okay to sleep in your own skin cells. I also only have one watch. 
This one doesn't work and this is the only one I have. So until I actually get it fixed, I only have one. Unfunctioning watch that can't tell time. Razor. I used to have those plastic razors and I would use them for literally one full year. Like that plastic razor. <laughs> I recently got this maybe like a year ago. No, a month ago. It's like a hefty, heavy duty razor. You just replace the blade. But I was seriously in the shower <laughs> scraping my underarms because I was so stubborn. I didn't want to get a new razor. Stubborn slash lazy. <laughs> like razor burn, razor burn, razor burn. It was awful. Finally, Tate got it for me. <laughs> Husband of the year, get your wife a new razor. Okay, next. Last chapstick. This is something that a lot of people actually clutter their purses and their backpacks and their drawers and their cars and their side tables with. I have one and it stays in my bedside table. I actually don't really have chapped lips often because I always have water with me. I try to stay hydrated, but occasionally at night, my lips do get a little dry. And this is from Coco Kind. I love Coco Kind. This is non-toxic and organic. Let me read you the ingredients. It's just coconut oil, organic beeswax, matcha tea powder. That's it. Honestly, the last one I had, Riker took a bite out of it. And I wasn't worried because it was non-toxic and I only have one of them, so I had to get a new one, which is fine because I know exactly where to go. Whole Foods or online for Coco Kind, not sponsored. Not sponsored, but I just love them. Okay, that concludes my video. I hope I didn't go on too long. Really, I just wanted to give you a peace of mind that you can be minimal in certain areas. Even if you do have anxiety about getting rid of your closet, start with these small things. They make it really, really easy to start this process. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I love posting content about minimalism, health, simple living. I feel like so many people are craving that right now. So I will get more content like that for you guys and I will see you in my next video.